Hey, Earth Signs, and welcome to your weekend love reading. This is for July 20th through the 22nd, 2018. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get started. You guys are feeling kind of defensive this weekend, um, feeling like everyone's against you um, for for doing what you feel is right for you. You feel like you're battling. Yeah, you feel like it's you against the world type of energy. But you're going to continue to fight for this. You're going to stand your ground this time. Every other time you kind of took a step back. And um, let other people kind of tell you what they thought you should do. You're you're standing up for yourself this weekend. With the planets shifting, the solar eclipse, <clears throat> we have a lunar eclipse coming. All this energy is pushing you in the direction of following your dreams. Following with who you want to be. Who you want to be with. Um, yeah, and it's illuminating the path for you. It's showing you the way to successfully... Um, get into the right path, into your path. And what's that path? Leading you right to your soulmate. Um, the universe is putting this person in your life uh, this weekend for a lot of you. The person that um, you feel is your other half, you feel, you feel this, that they are a part of you. It's a connection you can't describe. Um, it's something you've never felt with anybody else. You tried to fight this feeling off for quite a while, um, but the universe is making it impossible for you to deny this connection any longer. You could be dealing with an Aries or a fire sign in nature. This person, um, they're well established. They got their life together. They know what they want. They know who they are and they know how to go get it. And they're gonna. Um, this person is looked to for advice. They're um, thought very highly of by many people. Wow. You have the justice or ha you have justice. So your karmic scales are balanced out. You have dealt with your karma. This is a card of balance and inner peace. Um, not only that, some of you could be battling with somebody you are divorcing. Just throwing that out there. But this is more about um, finding your other half, finding the balance to tip the scales evenly. You need one for each side. You need your two cups. And this is, this is um, wow, this is an amazing energy. You are no longer feeling stuck, stuck where you were, stuck where you've been. Um, you see the light at the end of the tunnel as far as moving into a relationship with this person. This is somebody you've met in this lifetime and have been together in previous lifetimes. Your next card out is the Four of Wands. For a group of you, this is a twin flame, most definitely with the 1111. Um, but if you're not in that journey, this is a commitment. You guys are moving into a higher level of commitment, one that's built with a solid foundation. Some of you are moving into a new home. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful connection here. Yeah, for some of you, um, yeah, you feel like a push from the from the universe. You feel you feel different lately, especially this last week. You just feel like something's different, and this is the universe telling you it's time. It's time to move into this balance, fair, and oh and truthful relationship. You're becoming crystal clear who you're meant to be with. It is all coming to you now in this big gush of energy that we are getting from this new moon in Cancer and Eclipse. It's all becoming clear what you want and how you can go get it. 
you knew what you wanted for quite some time now. You just didn't know how to get there. The battle looked too big to win. So you held back. You let everyone else decide what you were doing and where you were going. But you're, uh, it's coming to light what you need to do. Um, you're going to move in very quick, very fast, uh, with a lot of passion and heat following up behind you. Um, could be moving in towards a fire sign as well. But this is somebody who is just, they can't wait. You can't wait to get to this person. You can't wait to tell them the truth and tell them what you've realized, what you've come to the conclusion of, what you want. Yeah, and this is all going to happen very fast. Very fast. Look at there. Next card out. You're making a decision this weekend, Earth Signs. You're making a decision on which path you want to take and who you want to take it with. Finally, this card is in the reverse. It has been like this for far too long. Um, you guys have, once the swords go in the ground in the reverse, it can't be taken back out. You have made a choice. No going back and forth any longer. And you choose a fire sign, whether this be a Sagittarius, um, which is the Queen of Wands, or an Aries or a Leo. Um, you are choosing someone that you can share the love and admiration and passion for life that you two share. You mirror because you are um, twin souls. You are soulmates. Um, this person has been waiting a long time for you to, to come back towards them. You have the nine of wands. You're not, you're not ready to, to walk away from this connection of the past, this soulmate. You have been fighting a lot of internally, but you have been battling a lot of battles to make it back to this person. Um, and you're not giving up now when you're this close. You may be an earth energy and you may be coming in kind of slow, but you are coming in with something to offer. You're coming in. Um, you're really saying, I don't have a whole lot. I have to start over. I had to leave my karmic partner. Um, so I don't have much, but this is all I got. But you're giving them your whole heart. You are able to manifest this weekend or sign the relationship that you have been hoping and dreaming you would be able to get to. Um, yeah, you've put in a lot of work to get this far. Um, it's taken a lot of patience, a lot of time. Um, yeah, a lot of patience. Um, more so on the person that you're moving in towards. And your last card is the High Priestess. So this person is uh, most definitely connected to spirit. They are, uh, they could be intuitive, they could be psychic, but they are in tune to what this connection is most importantly. Um, and with this moon, yeah, you guys are definitely moving into a reconciliation with somebody, um, who is your soulmate, your twin flame, if you're in that journey. But if, even if you're single, you are, um, you are finding life partners. You're finding somebody that you're going to be able to share your life with. What advice do you have in love? Look at that honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. Um, which is saying enjoy this time. Enjoy the time that you have um, with one another. Yeah, because this this is also... Um, yeah, you guys could be taking a trip together very shortly too. Um I see you guys going to like the mountains um, and enjoy that time alone together. Enjoy that time reconnecting with each other. Um, and look what just popped out. My twin flame card of the hidden realm. Preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Make it be known to the universe that you are ready. Prepare for this union, reunion, this meeting of your soulmate. Um Make sure you tell or, uh, you know, send your prayers up to the heavens. They will hear you. They will send an answer and you will hear it back. Um, set up your sacred ritual. Prepare yourself for divine union is what this is saying, because it is going to happen this weekend for a lot of you, if not next week um, for these for this situation. So I hope Earth Signs you enjoyed your weekend love reading. You guys have an amazing 
amazing weekend coming up for this group of you. Um, make sure you release, do a re release ritual, um, cleanse your space, prepare for that sacred union to come in um, because it's going to be one of beauty and love and oh, the energy is just amazing. So um, I want to thank you, Earth Science, for coming to my channel. For those of you returning, for those of you new, thank you for checking me out. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch all my videos. Like the videos. Um, if you enjoyed them, that's how I uh, decide my order to release the next set of videos. Um, comment also below what you thought about the video. Um, I am trying to comment back to each and every one of you. If I send you a heart, that's me sending you love and light and appreciating your comments. So um, once again, Earth Science, have an amazing weekend that's filled with love, light, and may God bless your journey.